Hey, I am in Kuala Lumpur for the launch of the Infinix Note 40 series. So I have the highest end model here. This is the Note 40 Pro Plus. Just like last year's Note 30 series, this phone comes with a lot of accessories. So in addition to the phone, you also have a 15 watt wireless charger that comes with the package. Inside the phone's packaging, you have the phone obviously, but also a 100 watt fast charging brick for that 4,600 milliamp hour battery a USB-C cable and a set of USB-C earbuds. That's not all. You also have a very nice case that plays nice with the design language of the phone. This is made of vegan leather material and a tempered glass screen protector. So you're getting a lot for your money. So the Infinix Note 40 Pro Plus is a very sleek and lightweight device weighing 170 grams and measuring only 8.1 millimeters in thickness. I love this vegan leather finish and the fact that it is so slim means that you can snap on this really good looking case and the device still doesn't look bulky. Look at this case. It plays very nice with the design language of the phone. Now if you're wondering what this here is. This is for really the star of the show. This guy. This is the Infinix Mag Charge, and it is basically Infinix's answer to Apple's MagSafe. But unlike MagSafe, this guy has a 3,020 milliamp hour battery inside built into the device. So that means you don't need to plug into external power source. You can just snap this onto the back magnetically, and then it will begin charging. And once it's begin charging, there's a little light indicator that lights up. So this is the halo light. In addition to showing you the charging status, it also doubles as a fill light. So kind of like the Aura light in Vivo's V series. In fact, it is very, very similar. So this fill light gets very bright and you also have multiple levels to choose from. So inside the phone is a MediaTek Dimensity 7020. Around the front, you have a 6.8 inch OLED display that looks very good to my eyes. 120 hertz refresh rate. This is not an LTPO panel though, so refresh rate is just between either 60 hertz or 120 hertz. I also like the software here. This is running Infinix's software called XOS based on Android 14. As you can see, it has a lively look to it, kind of like Vivo's origin OS. It doesn't get into the way of stock Android too much. You still have an app tray, all that, but there are some generative AI features built into the phone. So for example, there's Folax, which is Infinix's voice assistant. But unlike a typical voice assistant like Siri, this guy also connects to ChatGPT, so you can ask a more complicated query. What do I need to bake a tiramisu for 12 people? And it will give me a very in-depth answer with all the ingredients that I would need. So it understands context. Um, it's basically built on the ChatGPT model. There's also a very cool generative AI wallpaper that you can create wallpapers on your own using a couple of prompts. For example, I can type something like a cat and a woman in Tokyo, and I can just hit generate. Boom, here's the result. Wow, okay, it's a little bit uh, sexy, but you do have a cat and a woman in Tokyo. So you can just use your own prompts to generate any wallpaper that you want in various styles. That's pretty cool. I mean, this service is not like anything we haven't seen before. You can do it off the web, but usually you need to pay for these services. Infinix is offering it free in the device. Let's get back to this Mac charge a little bit more. So this guy, 3,020 milliamp hour battery, and there's a 4,600 milliamp hour battery in here. So that means combined, you're getting over 7,500 milliamp hour of battery in just this package. And this is still a very lightweight and slim package, really no thicker than like say my Vivo X100 Pro with a case. So that means just like this in such a slim profile, you already have the largest battery capacity that you're going to get in the phone. You do need the case to use the mag charge because the magnets are here. If you don't use the case, it will still kind of stay on, but like very loosely. It will still charge though. Let's look at the design language of the phone. I think this is a very beautiful looking design. I love this gold color aluminum camera module, but don't be fooled by this very fancy color camera module. You really just have one camera here. It's a 108 megapixel main camera. The other two sensors are two megapixel sensors that doesn't really do much. But the good news is this main camera is pretty good. It can do a pretty credible 3x zoom that appears to be lossless because it is doing in sensor crop. But the lack of an ultra wide camera does feel a little bit limiting. Okay, unfortunately, I don't know the official pricing of this guy yet, but given the past history of Infinix devices, I would be willing to bet this phone is less than $300. And for that, you're getting a hell of a lot for your phone. I will be back with more impressions on this guy. I've only had it for about a day. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.